morning everyone it's me here Herlanda also known as Pooh Bear 253 are you ready guys I know you are my goodness I have a lot to share today but before I get into it I would like to say I appreciate you all for appreciating me I have been getting just the most wonderful appreciative comments on my doll show videos everyone was just so happy and everyone just kept saying thank you so much for taking your time out to make these videos for those of us that couldn't go and we just appreciate it so much thank you thank you thank you i will i have been getting so many thank yous and so many people that are just so happy um that i recorded um the majority of the videos and i do have to apologize I missed some of the silicone um, entries, the, um, what's that called, the the babies that uh, they entered for the um, contest. I missed like about five of those when I went back over there because the way they had the tables, they kind of zigzagged and like it was here, then it stopped and then it continued here and then something went over here. I was like, and I got confused and I, it was another little piece of a table where there were more silicones and it was actually two twin silicones that actually won um, first and second place or people's choice in first place, one of them. They were beautiful silicones and I saw them after the fact and I actually went back and watched my video and I was like, dang, I missed that. And it was, uh, I think it was about five silicones that I missed on y'all. I'm sorry about that, you guys. Um, and when it first began, like I said, I really tried my best. I, I look back in the video, it's parts where I could have slowed down a little bit more. But I have to admit, I was getting kind of tired. Um, I was trying very hard to get as much as I possibly could. And some of the booths that you didn't really get to see is because it was a lot of people in the booths. Um, and I tried my best to kind of pan around and try to get in between to show you guys. I really, truly did try my best. And um, because I would uh, appreciate it if someone would film the show for me, um, you know, if I couldn't go, which I won't be going for the next three years, you guys know about, uh, I've already talked about the three year plan. So I unfortunately will not be able to go. So someone is gonna have to pick up the torch for me and film uh, for us for the next three years. And I'll pick back up after that on the fourth year. <laughs> so yes, first I just wanted to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos and giving me such wonderful positive feedback it meant so much to me some of the comments that i was getting people were just so grateful and just so thankful and i just felt so good i was like oh i'm so happy i was able to bring the doll show to people that couldn't go and that just really that just really made me feel good about myself and a lot of people was like I know that took a lot of time and you went slow this was the best footage and um I just really thank you guys for that um um so yeah I just wanted to say thank you for thanking me and I thank you for watching and everything it means a lot to me all right so I have my haul down here on the floor and I want to show it to you <laughs> so I was thinking to myself I was like do I want to talk about my experience um, at the doll show things that I would change and whatnot or do the haul first I think I'm gonna tease you guys a little bit longer and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about how I like the show, what I would change, what I didn't like about the show, and ideas I have for when I attend the show in the future. So, um, let's go with um, things that I didn't like, which wasn't much. Everyone, the staff, and all the people that were working 
with the show and for the show everyone always had a big happy smile everyone was so helpful and it just was a overwhelming environment of just happiness and giggles everyone was just so happy you didn't see anyone with their lip poked out or anyone being mean or anything everyone was just happy and and excited just to be there and to experience it um so uh one thing i wish i could have seen more of and i probably missed a lot of the um babies of color or the african-american babies um because i was filming so i do know that the um darker complexion babies sell fast so i know albie had a few they went like that um when i panned through i saw some a couple of silicone um aa babies at nikita silicone babies i think and there were a couple sprinkled here and there um all for reborns had a lovely selection um of a few a she had some aa babies and um look like kind of biracial i was in love with like three of her babies but like i said i knew i did not have the funds to purchase a baby so i i just didn't really take up the artist's time asking questions whatnot because i knew i wasn't buying i knew i didn't have the money to buy a doll so what's the point of wasting their time you know so i just kind of filmed and you know kind of was cordial and spoken how are you having a good time and it's so nice to be here you know just kind of general stuff like that and i didn't really pick up and hold anybody's babies because that's another thing to me like i say if i know i'm not buying it um i don't really want to mess with it you know that's just that's just me though um there were several silicone dolls and um reborn dolls i wanted to pick up but i knew i wasn't going to buy them i was not a potential buyer so what was the point you know what i'm saying that just was my kind of thing um yeah so um so yeah i wanted to hold some babies up but i did get to enjoy holding a few collectors babies um amanda's baby <laughs> to in, in particular <laughs> dayton oh my goodness i'll have to tell you guys about that uh they have just pushed me over the edge my goodness i already wanted a toddler but that just not just knocked me right on over the edge oh my goodness i love that baby i was just holding and rocking that baby <laughs> i just was loving him to bits and you guys know i know i'm not gonna deny it i'm like what's the big deal about the liam and the levi i didn't get to hold levi and you know i'm like they cute but what's the big deal i made a mistake in hell dating it was all over <laughs> I was like, oh, 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 I love you. <laughs> so I'm smitten with the limb now. I know, eat my words. Ow, ow, ow. It's something like it's like I don't know, just visually looking. But once I held that baby, I was in love. Oh my goodness, Amanda, I love your baby. But anyway, she knows it. I kept stealing him and I kept holding him. Um. But yeah, any more things I didn't like, I, yeah, I would like to see a little more variety. Um, what else did I not like? I didn't like the fact that the hotel doesn't, doesn't include breakfast. My thing is like, uh, they should have gave you like some little certificates or something for breakfast, at least two other nights or something. I don't know. So, um for a i don't know i guess for the higher end hotels they like they're gonna make all their money they're not giving you anything away for free anything else i didn't like everything was organized um the food was pretty good um the night where they had the awards banquet i think they had these like potatoes um like seasoned potatoes that were like they were like I don't know what the, that's called, those potatoes. Anybody that went to show, if you guys know what they was called. But those potatoes were so salty. Oh, my goodness, those potatoes were salty. Um, but I don't have, I didn't have any other complaints about the food. Everything else was good. I enjoyed my burger and 
my hot dog and stuff for the um the gift exchange um i will have to um do a mini fuss rant real quick about the um gift exchange it had nothing to do with the way it was done it had to do with people not following instructions you know when they say twenty dollars limit um or you know at least twenty dollars and then they say give something provide something that you yourself would be excited to get i know for myself and someone else i kind of chatted with that she actually got things from the dollar tree like come on y'all the dollar tree really my gift didn't come from the dollar tree thankfully but i was just like <laughs> it's like I, I i have sympathy for I, i'm just saying like if someone is unable to, if it's maybe like an older person or someone that's unable to shop or someone that lives in an area where there aren't many shopping options, you know, I just, I kind of have a little sympathy for it. But when, like myself, when it took me weeks to pick out the perfect things for my gift, it took me weeks to find. I knew exactly what I wanted and I did not settle. I kept looking. I went all the way to Lafayette looking for stuff for my gift. It's, I'm not saying I spent a whole lot of money, but I searched and I put in some effort to find some nice things. You can go to Ross, Marshalls, TJ Mack, Burlington's. You can go to all these different places and numerous other places um, to find really nice stuff at bargain deals but i just have a problem with somebody just throwing anything in a bag and just expecting somebody to be happy with that i just i'm just was uh, i was very disappointed in my gift i <laughs> i'll show you when i do my haul it's over there i was just like eh, that wasn't twenty dollars you can't tell me that was twenty dollars and I know whoever bought it probably got it on clearance and it probably wasn't nothing. <laughs> but anyway, moving on. But I do know of somebody that got stuff from the Dollar Tree. And I was like, that's not right, y'all. Come on. If you can't get something nice, just don't even worry about it. Just don't do the gift exchange. Just go enjoy the food, enjoy the company and socializing. But don't buy that stuff man i mean if you happy to get that oh okay but um no be not just you be happy to get it let somebody else be happy to get it i'm gonna need people to like elevate their taste or something the dollar tree the dollar tree come on that's messed up but we're gonna i'm not gonna rant anymore on it mm. i said my piece and we're gonna move past it so that was something else i didn't like I hate it. I'm still going. I hate it when I, it's like, and every time I'm like, this year I'm going to get something good. This time I'm going to get something good. Anytime I have ever done some type of gift exchange with the exception of with my family when we used to do the white elephant um, for Christmas time, you know, I would get good stuff then. But with the exception of that, like if I ever did something with like, um, like with work, any type of gift exchange, at school when I used to do gift exchanges as a kid, I always got jacked in my opinion. I'm like, I spent a lot. It was like, I'm like, I spent good money. I went, I, I can tell you, I went well over the $20 limit. I went well over the $20 limit. And I can't blame other people for not doing what I do, but at least give me something that's at least $20. That's all I'm gonna say about that, and I'm about to I'm about to leave it alone. I work. It's just like it's just so disappointing and upsetting when you work hard and really put effort into finding something nice that someone that the person would like, and then you get the you know scraps off the floor, and you expected to be happy with it. But that was that. But that had nothing to do with the show. That had to do with wh whichever person I picked, and then they let you pick. So when they called your number, you could go up there and pick what you wanted. I didn't, it was so many doggone gifts up there. I just flocked to the pink bag. 
I pink pink let me down this time. But it was just so it was I was like I was like, oh pink. You know, it was just too many, it was too many gifts. It was so it was so much. But anyway, a lot of people got a lot of nice stuff. I was not included in that number. But yes, moving on. Let's go to things I liked. I enjoyed um being in the hotel that was attached to the convention center, the conference center, whatever it was called, the Davis Conference Center. Um, I liked, I think this year they didn't decorate as much as they did last year. Because I remember last year they had like the little ice creams and the little lollipops where you could take pictures and stuff. It was only like one little area where you could take pictures and you could see if you friends me on Facebook and Instagram and I kind of, had my little black dress and I was like cheese and it said you know rose or whatever little place for you to take your picture that was one little spot but they didn't really decorate like they did last time I enjoyed the games the giveaways everything was lovely um uh what else did I like I enjoyed having um intermingling with fellow dolly mommies and daddies um I enjoyed hanging out with several YouTube um, folks, uh, Jackie and Stephanie, and um, 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 Amanda, and um, 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 Mauricio, and um, 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 RN Traveler, oh, J -J 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 -uh, J uh, dang it, Jillian, is that right? I think that's... Jillian, I think that's right. Um, let's see who else I hung out with. Oh, and Aunt Nola Reborn, my my good buddy Jules, and I hung out with um I think first time reborn mommy. I think her name was Shonda Shonda something is something duh. Um, I think it was Shonda. No, no, that might be wrong though. Forgive me, girl. Um, let's see who else I enjoyed. I got to meet Petite Treasures on Instagram. I only saw her for a hot second and she disappeared. Where'd you go, girl? I saw her one time, got a picture and a hug, and she was gone. <laughs> I ain't see her again the rest of the day. Um, who else did I meet? Reborn Daddies. I got to meet them and chat with them in the line. They were super sweet. Ty and Jay. Um, I got to see, like, I didn't get to chat with, but I got to take a picture with, maybe trying to remember all these names, with Kelly Maple. And, and it was some other people, and they told me their channels, and I tried to subscribe. Um, there were two lovely ladies that were in my painting class. It was so sweet. Um, oh goodness, what's your name? Oh, with the little, with the pink, pink hair. Oh, what was her name? And her friend. Um, oh goodness, I'm messing up. Oh, I can't remember. Let me pause y'all. Okay, so South Willows Reborns, that, her name was Tasha, and her friend, Whimsy Fox Nursery, that's on Instagram, and her name was, oh, she doesn't have it, oh, what is her name, oh, it's like three letters, I can't remember and it's such a pretty name, such a delicate pretty name. Uh, uh, she doesn't have her name on there. I can't remember her name. Oh. Oh, I feel bad. I had it written down on a on something. Um. Whoops. Sorry. Was it right here? I don't know where I put that that paper that I had it may be over there uh but I had her name written down on a card on the back of something because she wrote down her Instagram for me I can't remember but whimsy 
Fox Nursery on Instagram. They were super sweet. Um, and so many other people. And I think it was a lady named Connie. I chatted with in line. But several people. So basically just hanging out with fellow reborn mommies and daddies and just I can tell you this thing this one thing if you are a true reborn silicone doll lover in this community and you really love the art and you love to converse with other people that love the art it would be wise for you to go to a doll show at least once because I can't even describe to you the wonderful feeling because we have such an kind of obscure hobby some people don't get it some people wonder if we're crazy blah 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 and all this you get to go and truly enjoy your babies enjoy your hobby enjoy being really true to yourself with no judgment no no backlash just people that understand people you can go in and talk to and you start talking naming sculpts and sculptors and kids and they know what you're talking about they know what it what a cloth body is and they know what kits are and they know what mohair is and you could just go and talk the lingo and people understand what you're talking about and those people get super excited about a vinyl doll just like you do <laughs> and, you, and you just walk around and it's like oh my god it's so cute look at your baby and everyone everyone is the same way we it's just really nice to come together with people that have the same common interest is what I'm trying to get to it's such a lovely feeling it just warms your heart you're just so happy and free and you just feel great to be able to share that with share that happy feeling it's just like it's just an overwhelming feeling of just goodness and happiness because we all understand each other we've all been there we've all got the why don't you have real babies comments and why do you collect that and that costs what you could buy such and such with that and blah 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 and why do you spend your money on that we've all had those comments and we can all understand where each other's coming from and for most of us you don't really have anyone right there with you to enjoy the hobby with you i know my husband um what's the word he um supports my hobby but it's not his thing um my mom and people support my hobby but you know i can't really talk to them about it you know no one's gonna come in my nursery and play dolls with me you know so it's nice to be able to hang out, bring a bottle, feed your baby, chat, talk about all types of reborn doll related things with other people that understand you. And that's it. There's no explaining yourself. There's no trying to um, get someone to understand what you're talking about. It's just, you just get in there and you just do it and it's fun. <laughs> so, so yeah that was something wonderful just the um the environment and just being around like-minded folks was really nice um some things that i would like to change for myself for next time i go if you guys saw um my suitcase and my carry-on that i had next time i go i have seen a lot of people get the small rolling suitcases that fit the criteria of a carry-on that would fit in the upper bin. Um, by the next time I go to the doll show, I'm gonna have matching luggage, hopefully pink, the hard outside case. I'm gonna have a large one for my clothes and whatnot, and a smaller one to bring my dolls in. And whatever dolls I would like to purchase at the show. Because I can wrap them up nice and neat in a little blanket. You guys know they have the little seat belt in there. I can wrap them nice and neat in a nice soft cloth, uh, big puffy blanket. I can seat belt clip them together and waha, roll right on through the airport. Because when you have like a layover and when you have um, to 
you have to hold your carry on and holding a heavy bag with two reborns in it and two kits at the bottom of it which I had when I came back it wasn't so bad going because I only had loose in there so it wasn't that heavy but coming back I had to stuff it with things that I had purchased at the show and it made it really heavy so it's really inconvenient to lug around a duffel bag so I will suggest anyone going to the show do not get a duffel bag carry-on get yourself a little suitcase with the wheels so you can just roll through the um security and just have your purse on your back or whatever or, or across your waist and then you don't have that extra weight on your shoulder because that did get uncomfortable so i will share with you that i know from the previous year when i had said you know i had brought two babies and this time i only brought one which was perfect you only need to bring one baby with you you don't need to bring your whole collection unless you're driving and you don't mind bringing your whole collection with you that's up to you but i suggest if you're flying i say bring one baby so so that's one change for next time i go which will be three plus years from now i know but you just got to hold on to faith. I do have that to look forward to three years from now. Um, I will have that to look forward to. I will be almost knocking on 40. I will be in my late 30s when I get to go back to the doll show again. So something else I would change is next time I go to the doll show, I definitely want to have all the money I need because I definitely want to be able to purchase a doll at the next doll show. So I will tell you this much, next time I go to the doll show, I will not be filming first. I'm gonna beeline it to whichever artist I have been sniffing out and <laughs> see what dolls that they will have at the doll show um, so that I can be the first in line because I'm going to want to adopt a reborn doll of color possibly even a mini silicone i want to start off with a little silicone like 13 inch type um not the teeny weeny ones but like the pr a pretty nice size like preemie size one i think that would be something i would like to handle so that is what i would like to that is my goal to adopt a small silicone and a um reborn doll of color a nice chocolatey baby is what I would like. So that's what I want to do in the future. Um, so yes, and I already did the other thing. Like definitely whenever you go do everything, it, it's worth it for me anyway. I enjoyed um, conversing um, with everyone that I could. You know, I, I am, a, you know, a bit nervous around new people but I, I did try my best to um chat with people but i may have been kind of fidgety and whatnot but i did enjoy chatting um with all the reborn peeps um anything else i would change huh, definitely i'm gonna try to get a direct flight next time because baton rouge airport is so small there was no direct flight from here to Utah. I would have to drive to um, New Orleans. So I'm going to have to beg Cubby to drive me to New Orleans next time so I can get a direct flight. I didn't want to bother him uh, this time. So I just tried that out. So having a layover is not fun. And also, like someone had mentioned in my comments, it's more expensive to have to get on two planes. So hopefully if I can get a direct flight instead of it being $400 um, or like I think it was like four forty, whatever. It hopefully be maybe like three hundred dollars or something like that. So that will hopefully save more money. I would definitely try to do the same thing. Go grocery shopping. Um, that was a good idea. I did get tired of the sandwiches on the last day. I'm not gonna lie, I did get tired of the sandwiches. But it was nice to grocery shop, so that was less money. I just had to do that, uh, budget wise to save some money. You guys already know. I told you guys how much it cost. It was not cheap um, to go. And it was just for me, one person to go. This was definitely like a splurge. Definitely a luxury type of thing uh, that I got to go uh, go and enjoy. And I'm very thankful that I did get to go and enjoy the doll show this year. Um, I tip my hat 
to everyone that will get to attend, you know, that get to attend every year. Um, but I haven't gotten to that step in my life yet. We have to handle financial obligations first because we would really like to, you know, be completely debt free. And once we are there, the world will be our oyster. Is that how they say it? Oyster. And you guys have to uh, forgive me. I'm really not very good at pronouncing things. Like I will see, like I did my, I guess it's Daya and Co. Whatever, my box thing. And my husband teased me. He was like, there's no N in that word. Why do you keep saying an N? Because I kept saying Dina or something. But I'm seeing D-I-A, but my brain registered Dina. But it's, I don't know, it's Daya uh dia dia in co but just forgive me i'm not very english was not my strong part point in school i barely made it i was more of a math person um but yeah so that's pretty much all um next time i would definitely go with lyft only i would go to lyft first because they were cheaper than uber and don't even think about trying to get a taxi you guys I had called a taxi. That man said that taxi ride was going to be $75. Can y'all believe 70, $75 for a 35-minute drive? Can y'all believe that? Oh, my gosh. Uber was 40 and the other dude was 30-something. But $75. I was like, oh, no, thanks. I woke up early that next morning because I couldn't figure out how to schedule. And there were some Ubers out and there were some some um, Lyft people out. And I was like, mm, yeah, please, I need a ride. And I text that man, <laughs> taxi man. I say, sir, I need to cancel. I need to cancel. I will not need your services. Thank you. Have a nice day. But anyway, that's ridiculous. That is, that is, that's ridiculous. Don't even think about trying to take a taxi. That was crazy. But anyway, uh, what else do I have to say? I enjoyed hanging out with Stephanie and Jackie and it, and Mauricio and um, oh my gosh, I just keep having brain farts. <laughs> Jillian and Mauricio's wife. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh. Dayton's mom. <laughs> oh, I'm, a bra I'm drawing a blank. And there was a sweet lady that night. We were Saturday, wait, it's Friday night after the awards bank where we kind of all came into the lounge area and we're hanging out and chatting. Um, and I think relaxed with my reborns is her Instagram. She was really sweet. She sat right there. She sat next to me and... I think uh, first time we bought Mama, she left and she went back to her hotel. But we just kind of sat around, chatted, and just had a good old gay time. Stephanie is a hoot. I call her Snack Lady. She has been dubbed Snack Lady because when she's hanging out, she's going to always make sure you're fed. So <laughs> she went and they were just being silly and talking and chatting about just whatever. Um, and it was a, two other ladies over here. I don't remember what their names. One of them sent me a, a request. I think her name was Katie. And Katie and her, I think, fiancé. I think I think that's it on there that, that, was, that she was her fiancé. Um, so they were hanging out. Um, so... A little girl came over with some ice cream and Stephanie was like, man, I want some ice cream. She had some ice cream and she got up and went to the front desk and bought like chips, candy, and haagen -Dazs ice cream and just threw it all on the table. Here are snacks, you guys. So I was like, you are the snack lady. She had snacks at her booth. For as far as what I know, she was the only, her and Jackie were the only, um, teachers that were teaching classes that actually bought lunch for their class um i don't know if they bought them lunch both days but i do know they bought them lunch i think that was the second day was that the um 
was that Thursday? They bought pizza for both of their classes. So, you know, and they had snacks for their classes. They had chips and candy while they were teaching their class. They were able, their class, um, their students were able to get up and have a snack, you know, break and whatnot. They had drinks in there that she had snacks and candy at her booth. So they always feed you. So if you hang out with Stephanie, you don't have to worry about going hungry or, you know, <laughs> you're going to get a snack. You're going to get several snacks hanging out with Stephanie and Jackie. I find, I found them to be so hilarious. They, they just, Stephanie was just such a hoot and I was laughing the whole time while, while sitting and chatting with them. So they, they were a hoot. Um, so I enjoyed, uh, I would have to say as far as chatting and with um, Stephanie Nam and hanging out with um, Nola Reborn's nursery. That that was like the highlight for me. I enjoyed hanging out and chatting with them. They were very, very sweet. Um, and also I enjoyed my class and everything. Um, so I'll show you guys my little class, baby. She over there with her dull eyes now. So I'm waiting on Elizabeth to show me the gloss so I can put on her eyes because I wasn't thinking and I was pouncing trying to get the shine off of her face and I got the shine off of everything including her eyes so she looking real dead uh, her eyes are looking real dead and dull over there so I have to put something a gloss on her eyes if anyone out there Reborns is hearing this part if you are still here listening to my long ramble about the doll show if you guys can shoot me a picture at Reborn Love underscore 3112 at yahoo.com to let me know what gloss you can use on the eyes to make it shine again if you pounced it by accident with um ultra matte uh so yeah that's what i did i was like oh god what a learning curve my goodness i, I can see myself screwing up a lot and i also have to tell you guys i bought my play kit i bought a kit and a body Lane kit at Bountiful Baby was on sale. He, uh, he or she was $70, $17. So I bought that kit last night with the body. So I do plan on reborn another doll before I go back to work. I'm going to need help with rooting eyelashes. So I'm going to need needles and some hair. I need to figure out what I want to do with that, how I'm going to get that. Um, so, yes. I'm nervous about that. I'm gonna have to watch a few videos about how to like root the eyelashes. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous about that. <sighs> I love the show. I definitely would recommend it for um, dolly lovers uh, out there. They have another show coming up in Kansas. That seems like that's what everyone's getting geared up for now. I would never be able to attend that show because it's in August. For some of y'all. That may be great, great and dandy, but I go back to school in August, so I can't go to the dog show. And I'm just not going back to school. I can't do that. So I will never be able to go to that show until I retire. Um, but yes, everything was lovely. Everything, everyone was so nice. I didn't feel um, like singled out. You know, everyone was just so nice. Um, even though, you know, me as an African American woman, we was I was definitely the min minority there. I can basically count on a couple of fingers how many uh, um, how many uh, African American ladies and or I didn't see any Af I didn't see any black men, but I think I can count on my but that's about I, I don't need all these fingers to count how many black people. Was there. <laughs> But it didn't matter. We just all, it, it, it didn't have nothing to do with color. We all just were there for the dolls. We all just enjoyed the dolls. So, um, yeah, and there were like a couple of Asian American um, ladies there. But, of course, the majority was Caucasian. So, and I feel that's why when you go to a doll show, that's what you're going to see mostly is Caucasian dolls because that is that makes up the majority of who participates in um these doll shows so you just gotta get there quick and find uh <laughs> zero in on a, a a black baby that you want and you better go for it quick because they sell out like that but let me stop this ramble video this was so long 
I'm going to get this video going up and I'm going to come back with my haul video from the Rose Star Show. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye-bye.